everyone. In this video, we'll be solving another problem based on Newton's second law of motion. So here is the problem which reads, a stone of 1 kg is thrown with a velocity of 20 meters per second across the frozen surface of a lake and comes to rest after traveling a distance of 50 meters. What is the force of friction between the stone and the ice? So this question, this is the question which says that there is a stone of 1 kg which is thrown with a velocity of 20 meters per second across a frozen, a frozen lake and the, uh, the stone eventually comes to a stop after 50 meters. And we need to find that what is the force of friction, what is the amount of force of friction that has made this uh, stone to come to a stop. So let us do that. So our first step will be as usual, that is listing out whatever the information the question has given to us. So let's do that first. Here we have the mass of the stone to be 1 kg. The initial velocity of the stone to be 20 meters per second as per the question. And since the stone has come to a rest after some time, the final velocity is taken to be 0 meters per second. And the stopping distance is given to be 50 meters. That is after traveling 50 meters, it has come to a stop. Now with this information, we need to find out what is the force of friction which is responsible for uh, the stone to stop. So we need to find the acceleration of the stone. Since the formula for the force is mass into acceleration, we have already given with the, uh, we have already uh, got the value of the mass here. Uh, so we need to find the rest of the thing that is the acceleration in order to find out what is the force of friction. So with this information, we will be trying to find out what is the acceleration of the stone. Now from the third equation of motion, we have v squared minus u squared is equal to 2as. So we have the final velocity, the initial velocity, the displacement or the stopping distance and we need to find this acceleration from this expression. So let us substitute all of the values here. So on doing that we have 0 squared minus 20 squared is equals to 2a into 50. So minus 400 equals to 100a. So acceleration is found to be minus 4 meters per second square. So here the acceleration is uh, is negative is found to be negative so this this essentially means that the acceleration is directed in an opposite direction to the motion of this stone that is the reason why the acceleration has turned out to be negative in value so the negative sign of the acceleration shows that the acceleration is acting in the, in a direction which is opposite to the motion of this stone now that we have calculated the acceleration, it's time for us to find out the force of friction that has made this ball to st uh, this stone to stop. So the force of friction is given by F equals m into a. Mass is 1 kg and the acceleration we have found out to be minus 4 meter per second square. So the force is found to be minus 4 newton. So we see that the force is again negative here which means that the force is acting in a direction opposite to the motion of the stone. So with this, we have solved this problem and I hope the solution was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.